Alright, how's it going guys? Uh, it's Nick here, once again, with a tutorial for you today. Uh, I recently got a plugin for After Effects called Lexus. Show you. Lexus. Okay, now this is a really, 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 really great uh, program, uh, the, the, uh, plugin, I mean, for After Effects. Let me just show you. Uh, go over. Basically, a really, really intense particle program you can build right into. That's it's you can put right into After Effects and just create these amazing little uh, structure things. It it very much reminds me of uh, in Assassin's Creed 3 when you've got the network and all these little dots and lines are connecting the dots, and some of them have like these the triangulation. That's way too many. There you go. So some of the uh, Spaces are filled with these triangles. Very, very, very uh, intense, very useful plugin. But the thing is, it doesn't actually have particle physics or particle animation. You basically have these shapes. Uh, some of them are, are primitives, or you can outline a, a stroke, or a, a, a mass path, or um, the uh, I mean, you know, just basic stuff like we even uh, oh my off layer. Uh, you can even do it to layers and add a white. So you can even add like some of these here. It's uh, light and it's uh, it's transformation is a little off. But the spec is right there, as you can see. Anyway, it's it's very 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 incredibly useful. Uh, but the thing is, you don't have those uh, those particle animations, you know, and you can't connect it to um, particle playground or particle world or anything like that. Unfortunately, however, let me just do this. There we go. However, you can make a particle system in Blender. So here I've got this uh, this just real quick particle system built up in Blender. Got the emitter. The particles are all inside. I've got this force field. This, uh, it's a whatchamacallit. So I kind of just scrub through a little bit. Uh, vortex, that's what it's called. So the particles here and uh, circle around this vortex. Because, you know, that, that's cool. Who doesn't like a swirling vortex of particles? So, how do we put this, however, into Plexus? Well, I'm going to go over that. Plexus allows you to import OBJ sequences. Now, particles in Blender cannot be saved to OBJ sequences. However, there is a cheat for this. And I'm going to show you that right now. And what you got to do is you got to add an object, a vertice, a single vertice that will copy itself and paste itself to each and every one of these particles so that uh, it, it basically is mimicking the particle system itself. So let's go ahead and add a mesh. Zoom up on that a little bit. Hit tab. You're going to select each vertice. All right, there we go. Delete three of them and keep one, and move that to the center of the object's orientation or this little circle target thing. See that little orange dot in the middle of that? Well, we want our vertice to be right in the middle of that. That way, its transformation uh, properties are based on the center of the object's overall uh, bounded space. That's you know just complicated mumbo jumbo. For we want it to be in the center, and we want it to match the exact location of each particle. So once we've centered it, hit Tab again to get out of edit mode. Now we're going to go over to Modifiers. And then go down, add modifier, and we're going to go particle instance. Particle system is what makes particles. Particle instance, well, this is what's going to copy the particle's positions. Now let's go ahead and select the object that has the particle system. 
and as you can see, all the particles uh, just lit up orange. That's because the object is no longer in the center as it was. It is multiplied into as many particles as there are and copies the location of each and every particle. Sometimes you might have to play with the size, just kind of mess with that, but just overall just get it centered, uh, just get it somewhere that you like it, get it in a nice size. It doesn't have, it can be offset over here even if you want, uh, so long as it copies the particle system or mimics it as best as you need. So uh, once we've got that, let's go over here, let's make sure that we uncheck unborn and dead. We only want the particles that are showing alive. If you want to keep the dead ones around, or if you want to show the ones that haven't come to life yet, well that's fine. Uh, I just don't want to do that. Uh, everything else is fine. Do not apply it. If you apply it, it uh, freezes everything in place. So if you scrub through the animation, all the little dots no longer move. So, do not apply the part of the image. Alright, now that we've got that, with the object that is copying all of the particles uh, location selected, just that object, I'm going to go up here to File, Export, and I'm going to go to Wavefront, which is the OBJ. Alright, so uh, let me just, sorry, I have a, uh, I already saved. I guess they were already. Anyway, the folder should be empty now. Uh, but of course, you're following this tutorial, so you wouldn't have that problem. I'm just going to push this All right, so uh, let me just go over that again. Once you have uh, done File, Export, Wavefront, OBJ, you'll be given this export window. Mind over here. It's going to look like this to begin with. What we need to do is we need to get rid of include UVs and bright materials because there are no materials or UVs. This is just the vertices and their location for the particle system. That's it. We do, however, need selected only because we don't need to export the the force field or the the particle emitter box that'll just sit there and look irritating and in the way once it's in After Effects. So only that one object that's copying all of the um, the particles positions should that that's the only one that should be seen. Then check animation as well because you know this is an animation. It's the whole point of the tutorial. Go into the folder that you wanted to save all of your uh, uh, your files to. Make sure it's a folder that is made specifically for this because it's going to make as many frames as it there are in your Blender animation. It's going to make that many files. So I'm just, I'm just going to call it part, short for particle, that's the DJ. Alright, export. Give it a minute to go ahead and process that. And then it'll close the export window, there we go, when it's done. Now we can get after this. Ta -da. Let's go ahead and add the Flexus plugin to this solid I have. Robot, Flexus, there we go. And uh, add geometry. OBJ. Uh, now it's going to add this Plexus OBJ object uh, effect here, uh, where it says import OBJ. It's one of the orange things on the effect strip. The effect strip on the top. Hit import OBJ. Then hit open and browse to where your file is saved. I've already got it in here. Select just the first one. And then hit open or OK. Uh, now it'll automatically detect that you have a bunch of OBJ files in there with it, and it'll say, okay, we're going to make this an OBJ file sequence, and we're going to take each and every one of those files, and each file for each file there is, uh, it's going to be assigned a frame. So each time you go to the next frame, it goes to the next file, which basically creates the animation. 
Uh, I won't go over these. Uh, they are covered in the actual Plexus tutorial, so I'm going to leave that to that. But make sure that OBJ file sequence is selected because that's the whole point of this tutorial is getting an animation. Uh, click OK. And then you're not going to see anything yet. Just go forward in the timeline uh, to I don't know, two seconds works. And uh, it's also going to be really, 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 really small because for some reason Blender's transformation properties are very, very, very small compared to uh, uh, After Effects, especially when your composition settings is high def, 1080 at 24 frames per second. So, over here in Plexus Object, uh, OBG Object, where you open the file, uh, drop down Transform OBJ. Make sure that uniform scale is selected and increase that puppy until you see something here. And there's something. So as you scroll through the timeline palette, ah, I see that. Um, no, I'm not going to go ahead and period. Well, not period, sorry, zero on the numpad. That's our pre-flight render. So there you can see the particle system is animated to Plexus, and now you can start adding the fun things like, uh, I don't know, maybe, oops, uh, add the renderer like lines. That's a pretty good distance. Actually, this is just a bit. Okay, that's it. Uh, add a renderer triangulation. Way too much. That's nasty. That's nasty. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Just look at it. Um, there you go. You have successfully imported a particle system. Animatable in a uh, Blender. Uh, so if you want it to interact with an actual video, um, just go ahead and uh, make the video, the backdrop in Blender. Animate your particles first to that video, um, and then bring it into After Effects afterwards, and uh, then just use the uh, over here. Uh, you can either use the Plexus OBJ object, transform object, uh, you can use these properties here, or you can add a camera to your comp, like here, yeah. 35 millimeters is good, alright, you just hit C until you get the round and then you can orbit around because these are 3D particles. Ah, ha 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 ha! You look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that cool? So you can make like some kind of cool ship generators. Awesome, right? Okay. So then you can actually twist and transform the uh, the uh, you just blend it up with your video and background, okay? I don't need to explain this. I showed you how to get the particle system in the After Effects. I've done it. I'm going to go ahead and end this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and ask them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. And trust me, I read as many comments as I possibly can. If I ignore you, it's it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I probably missed it. If you know, Because I know that this is going to be a pretty popular video. Because a lot of people use Plexus and a lot of people use After Effects. But using them together is a really, really, really big deal. So if this video gets that much attention, you know, just keep making the comment until I find it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thanks for watching very much. If you want, also, uh, go ahead and check out my new website. Right over here. ScarletRoseMedia.com uh, I'm still working on it. It's still very simple. Uh, you know, just the basic, some basic stuff. Uh, I'm still putting it together. 
But, you know, jump on there, take a look at the blog, give me some feedback maybe. Uh, I'm just trying to get this thing going. And I'll also be posting stuff here, uh, maybe in my blog, I don't know, media. Oh yeah, media. Hmm. Um, I got a photo gallery. It's not that impressive yet. Yeah. Anyway, uh, once I get a video gallery, however, you'll be able to find a lot of stuff like my short films. I'll put stuff like that. There. Anyway, I'm going to make an official update. Actually, so I'm going to end the tutorial that now. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. I'll see you guys next time.